In this work, we present our contribution on the reconfigurable aerial robotic chain, its design, modeling, and control. In particular, we propose a new design for a reconfigurable aerial robotic system of systems, named the aerial robotic chain, consisting of multiple micro-aerial vehicles, or ARC units, connected through rigid links and three degrees of freedom joints, with, in future, the ability to integrate encoders within them. The motivation of this design relates to the desired ability of the robot to traverse narrow environments, while simultaneously being able to carry a significant payload or cooperatively exploit the thrust vectoring of every arc unit towards aerial manipulation. In addition, this design offers the potential for distributed sensing and processing, decentralized estimation and control, as well as enabling system redundancy. One application that we imagine is using the robot as a flying snake to navigate in narrow environments to detect victims of disasters. Another application is for the robot to carry a wide range of sensors needed for industrial inspection, such as thermal vision, cameras, and LIDAR, while maintaining a narrow cross-section. Several contributions in the field of reconfigurable aerial robotics have aimed to allow the robots to adapt their configurations based on the assigned task. The distributed flight array is a lattice-based, modular, reconfigurable vehicle composed of hexagonal-shaped modules attached by magnets. This work used a distributed sensing and control where little information is needed to be exchanged between modules. Another contribution demonstrated in-air aerial transformation with Dragon, a platform consisting of two degrees of freedom gimbal modules to stabilize the robot and two degrees of freedom joint modules with motors to change the shape. Our design is a chain-based design, similar to Dragon. However, the main difference of the arc design and control is that our joints have no motor and we use the thrust vectors of every arc unit to both stabilize the system and change its shape. We choose the states for the system as the position and the velocity of link 1, the Euler angles and the angular rates of each arc unit and the Euler angles and the angular rates of each link between arc units. Here, we assume that the links are weightless. Then, we can calculate the internal force F sub i as a function of the states of the system and the control inputs. From that, we can derive the system's nonlinear dynamics. To control the full states of the system, in this work, we use one MPC position controller for the position dynamics of the first link in parallel with n-1 SO3 angular controllers for the angular dynamics of each inter-arc unit link. First, we assume that the offsets between the joints and the center of gravity of each arc unit are negligible. Therefore, the angular dynamics of each arc unit can be controlled by the autopilot without interfering with the link's dynamics. We consider each arc unit as a controlled thrust vector achieved by a fast low-level angular control loop within each unit. The key idea in this work is that if we assign the thrust vectors to each arc unit so that the internal forces are limited, then the position dynamics of the first link and the angular dynamics of each link can be considered as approximately decoupled from each other. An MPC design is chosen for controlling the translation dynamics of the first link because of its ability to account for future references and the expected system response while simultaneously respecting constraints in the desired thrust vector input, or the tilt angles of each arc unit. The angular dynamics of each link are similar to the angular dynamics of a single quad rotor. We choose the control input for the angular dynamics of each link as the sum of two terms. The first term is the output of the SO3 angular controller and is used to regulate angular errors. The second term is the feed-forward term, used to limit internal forces. The upper limits of the norms of the internal forces are discussed in the next section. Finally, from the output of the position controller and the n-1 angular controllers, we can calculate the desired thrust vectors for each arc unit. Now, we will provide the bounds on the internal forces F sub i. We can find the upper bound for the norm of the internal forces under two conditions. The first relates to the control input for the angular dynamics of each link, and the second relates to the number of arc units. To tighten this upper bound, 
we need to keep the masses of neighbor arc units close to each other and limit the desired angular velocity and acceleration of each link. Each arc unit is equipped with an Intel UP board computer that runs the MPC position controller and the angular controller, or only the angular controller, for the neighbor link at 50 Hz. Each arc unit will receive the thrust vector command and the pose update from the previous arc unit. The thrust vector command will be converted to the attitude thrust command and be sent to the autopilot. The pose update will be fused with IMU data from the autopilot through the utilized multi-sensor fusion framework. While the proposed design is generic and applicable to M-connected MAVs, in this work we have realized an experimental prototype called Arc Alpha, consisting of two Arc units, one carrying a RealSense tracking camera and the other carrying a FLIR boson thermal camera. We conducted a set of experiments to verify the stability and agility of the controller using a motion capture system to estimate the poses of each unit and the connected link. In this experiment, Arc Alpha was commanded to follow a trajectory involving traversal through two windows, thus requiring it to change its configuration in space, as the planes of the two windows were perpendicular to each other, and the width of each was small enough to require Arc Alpha to traverse it head first. In another experiment, Arc Alpha was required to track a rectangular trajectory five times without changing the orientation of the link. The results demonstrate reliable tracking accuracy and precision. In this experiment, the system was commanded to create a helical trajectory by changing the yaw angle of the link while moving the center of gravity of the system along its vertical axis in an upward and then downward direction. This experiment illustrates coordination between two arc units to change the yaw angle of the link and reveals the ability of the system to create a significant yaw moment by commanding opposite roll angles for its two arc units. Finally, we present simulation results for the ARC system with four, five, then six ARC units to demonstrate the extendability of the controller. This simulation also demonstrates a new shape and motion planner for our ARC system. Thank you for attending our presentation.